Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in Windows 11, Copilot for the desktop is located to the right hand side. And although the Copilot desktop um, app can be resized, it cannot be moved from the right hand side location. Now, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, this is all set to change because in this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2, Microsoft is rolling out a so-called new Copilot user interface, which is in effect a web app, a PWA, a progressive web app, which is going to behave according to Microsoft more like a native app on your system, which can be pinned to the taskbar, resized and moved around your desktop, unlike Copilot currently is in Windows 11. And as mentioned, the UI is also a little bit different where everything here, your recent chats are to the left-hand side, your notebook and your plugins are here to the left-hand side. And I have posted on this and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, because this is in effect a web app, you can actually install this as a desktop PWA currently in Windows 11 and Windows 10 before the new Copilot becomes officially available with Windows 11 24 H2. Because if we head to the same web address that this PWA is actually linked to, we can do that already before the annual feature update rolls out. So if you want to get your hands on the new look and feel before it becomes available, then just a quick video to show you how you can do that. Now, just a quick recap um, before we take a look at that. This is currently what Copilot Online looks like at copilot.microsoft.com. You can see things looking a little bit different. And if we head over now to the web address that's linking to the actual Copilot, the new Copilot app, here we can see it says copilot.microsoft.com dpwa. So it's a desktop PWA. And this is exactly what we get and will get in Windows 11 24H2. And if you are running Microsoft Edge, the easiest way to install this as a desktop PWA would be just to head to your apps and click on install. And there we go. It installs it as a desktop PWA. And yeah, you've got your options, pin to taskbar, pin to start, create desktop shortcut, auto start on device login. So it's got a lot of native app settings to give you that native app kind of feel and experience. So I'm just going to say pin to taskbar and there we go. And you can see now that if we just minimize this, looking very similar to what I showed you as to what is rolling out with Windows 11 24H2, exactly the same actually. It's just a desktop PWA and we've just linked it now to that web address where this actual PWA is linked to. So here we can see exactly the same your recent chats and your history will appear here to the left hand side. Here's your plugins and here's your notebook. So exactly the same. And you can see I can use that. I can pin that to my taskbar. I can resize it. So it's acting more like a native app on my system. And if you are signed in with your Microsoft account, you can actually head to your appearance and you can change that to your system default or to a dark mode, which I actually quite enjoy. And that's how you can enable the new Copilot uh, desktop app currently before it rolls out uh, to uh, and with the Windows 11 24H2 feature update. And if you are using Google Chrome, you may be asking, how can I do the same? And if you are using um, another Chromium-based web browser like Vivaldi, Brave, um, and Google Chrome, as mentioned, you just create a desktop shortcut and then you can pin it to your taskbar. Um, it's a little bit different to how you do it in Microsoft Edge, but I have posted on how you can create a shortcut and turn that into a desktop PWA um, uh, in Google Chrome and other Chromium-based web browsers, and I will leave that video linked in the end screen. So there you have it. That's the new look and feel Windows 11 24H2 Copilot desktop app, which you can enable now before it becomes officially available. And obviously, I will leave that web address for the actual web page um, down below so you can get easy access and reference. Just copy that in and then save it as an app or a shortcut. And thought I'd just let you know in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.